I've been looking over GameMaker and its capabilities. To me, it's just a regular engine where they have the typical input functions, graphic functions, and in addition, they have also have console porting. So normally, it would cost a lot of money to port to console because sometimes you literally have to rewrite the game in another language to port to console. So they made it convenient for any developer to port to popular consoles. And the programming language, I wouldn't say the programming language is hard or easy. It's just a regular programming language. It's actually their programming language, which is made specifically for Game Maker Studio. And they also have a marketplace just like any other game engine. To me, it's just a regular game engine. Some people think that's easier than other game engines but to me it's just a regular game engine it also has a visual style programming where you connect blocks but at the end you still need to know how to program you still need to know how to use their blocking mechanism to program and you still need to know how to code a little bit as well you can't just go in w without no knowledge of coding of course you have tutorials and stuff like that but at the end of the day you still need to know how to program either through text or the graphical visual programming language they have their own visual programming language but either way you still need to know how to program you still need to know the concept and the basics of programming they have uh, plenty of tutorials it's quite popular but i look into it i just basically don't like the um, game engine i prefer some other game engines so i'm researching on other game engines um tell me what you think about this game engine do you use it or not tell me about your experiences if you have any in the comment section I'm looking through GameMaker. Uh, this is GameMaker's website, and the free version gives you uh, access to most of the features, but you cannot produce a executable. Here is a creator version. Basically, this version lets you license it for $39 for 12 months, which is a year. Um, to me, this is not worth it because you don't get to own a copy of the product permanently. You have to pay it annually, so it doesn't really make sense to me. There are a lot of other different options you can choose from. This is not the best deal. And this is the developer version, which is $99 per target. So if you want desktop and mobile target, that will be $200. And if you want web, mobile, and desktop, that will be $300 per target. All three of these are pretty popular targets. Then, of course, you have the last target, which is a permanent license for GameMaker Studio 2, which enables you to export Universal Windows platform, including the Xbox One Creator Program. But in order for you to export to the Xbox Creator Program, you have to be admitted to the program before you can actually export games to xbox this is actually a better deal than the creator deal because you get a permanent license to the product and you have the last option which is console so it's eight hundred dollars 799 is basically eight hundred dollars per target so if you want playstation target that's 800 xbox that's 800 nintendo switch that's 800 the ultimate package which is a license which enables you to export all of the platforms they support that'll be 1500 these are only for one year these prices that you're paying are licensed for one year so to me it's not worth it just because you can export to these consoles doesn't mean that your game can make money so i'm assuming you want to export to these consoles because you think that they have a better exposure for your game but in actuality if, if you're an indie developer one man show I mean, it's not really worth it. Better off just going with the developer option, which is Windows. That's how I feel anyway. Tell me what you think about Game Maker Studio. I mean, do you use Game Maker Studio? Do you make games with Game Maker Studio? Tell me how you feel about it. Tell me how you feel about it in the comment section. And tell me what other game maker I should cover also on the comment section.